the thing that got me to change from a broad survey course to dealing to talking entirely about Duchenne was hearing parents. That that was so motivating, hearing parents just being frustrated about this diagnostic odyssey that they'd been on. So it was hearing it was hearing from families that, that inspired me to change the course to being just on Duchenne. We're teaching students about one disease from genetics to physiology to cell biology to therapeutic applications, so it allows us to have this great depth that you really cannot achieve in a survey course. So from an educational standpoint, it's pretty wonderful. It's really difficult to engage students in the classroom using our current teaching techniques because we like to get up and lecture and the students glaze over because they're being lectured at. And by, by introducing students to the real world, the real world of Duchenne, they're engaged and they become mini activists. And this was not expected by me. This was a huge surprise. So they come to this realization that there is a very common disease out there that we have never heard of. And they're, the students are very turned on by the revolution that's going on in Duchenne research and in the Duchenne clinical community right now. And they want to spread the word about this disease so that it's not such an unknown. You know, when we teach at the undergraduate level, we don't always open up these mysteries. We, we sometimes try to keep things very um, sort of solved. And I think that students maybe respond better to things that are not solved. They just really latched on and, and became engaged and, and motivated and would talk to me after class about, well, what about this as a treatment or that as a treatment, coming up with really innovative um, suggestions. And so it spurred critical thinking and creative thinking in a way that I didn't expect. There are a lot of students who have uh, changed or modified their career goals based on participating in this class and who are devoting themselves to to Duchenne for the rest of their lives and I think that that's that's pretty that I'm inspired by these students they're really it's very humbling so the University of California Office of the President uh, set out a call for faculty members who wanted to develop an online course with the idea being that, um, that, that this disease represents such an ideal model system by which to teach many different um, areas in science including genetics and physiology and uh, cell biology, etc. The goal then is to reach everyone in the United States and beyond. So the, the course has the potential um, to reach a huge audience, a huge worldwide audience. There will have to be enormous expertise from many different fields applied to Duchenne in order to really solve the problem of Duchenne muscular dystrophy.